Hogwarts Legacy just dropped a brand new Dark Magic trailer at the recent Gamescon event in Germany and have also announced all of their game editions that will be available for you to pre-order. So I'm going to break all of this new info down for you so you know exactly what's going on with this game. And if you didn't already know, the game itself has actually been delayed until February the 10th, 2023. So it won't be releasing in time for a Hogwarts Christmas this year, which is unfortunate as the studio still has some polishing to do. That said, it will be releasing on PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One Series X and S, as well as the PC. Now if you're a Nintendo Switch player though, you may be waiting a little longer to play as it has been confirmed to be porting to the platform but a release date is yet to be announced for it so expect it after February the 10th. Now for the game editions, Avalanche have announced four tiers, those being the Standard Deluxe, Digital Deluxe and the Collector's Edition with all of these editions being available for you to pre-order from Thursday August the 25th at 8pm PT, 1pm ET and 4pm BST via the PlayStation, Microsoft, Steam as as well as the Epic Games Store and if you fancy helping a fellow wizard out and chucking me a free butterbeer by the way by popping my Epic Games creator code in the referral box if you do decide to pull the trigger I'd really appreciate it so thanks very much but quick note here as well the official Hogwarts Legacy art book and game guide have also had their release dates changed on Amazon mine was recently cancelled and then relisted so I will pop all of these links to all of these official game editions and books in the pinned comments and descriptions by the way for you to check out now before we break down each individual edition I do think it's important to know that as far as I'm aware you don't get any rewards for pre-ordering the standard edition even though Chandler Wood community manager has mentioned on Twitter that you do gain access to the Onyx Hippogriff if you pre-order however there's no mention of that in the recent official video where it only states that you'll obtain this exclusive Onyx Hippogriff mount if you purchase the deluxe or collector's edition once you completed the relevant quest in game so let's wait for some further clarification on that it would seem really odd to me not to offer people a reward for pre-ordering the standard base game otherwise what's the actual point in doing so you're literally just pre-ordering a game and getting nothing in return additionally Chandler Wood did confirm on Twitter that there are no microtransactions in this game and that all of the items in these editions cannot be unlocked in a day one playthrough you actually have to purchase the corresponding edition to get these rewards before it launches otherwise you won't actually get them at all which I'm not sure if is a good move to be honest with you especially as the Kelpie robe does look really good and enticing but we'll come to that in a moment because when it comes to the standard edition and as we just mentioned that on Onyx Hippogriff mount remains in limbo at the moment as a pre-order bonus but referencing Avalanche's pricing from their press release I've received by email on the next gen consoles you're looking at £65 as well as €70 Euros and $70 for the standard edition. Now as for the deluxe edition this is where things start to get a little bit juicy. First and foremost the regular front cover key art changes into this new darker magic theme to easily differentiate itself from the standard edition and if you do go on to pre-order or purchase this deluxe edition you'll be picking up a dark arts pack which will provide you access to the dark arts cosmetic pack which as you can see here from the footage i think it does look pretty cool on top of that you'll also gain access to the flying thestral mount in this edition and it's really important to note here you won't be able to obtain a thestral mount in game at all by the way so if you do want that thestral mount the only way to get it is either to buy the deluxe or collector's edition or you just won't have one at all additionally you'll also gain access to the dark arts battle arena where you're able to test your mastery of the dark magic against waves of challenging enemies this is really similar to what we've seen in the battle arena in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order where you can test your weapon loadout and improve your gaming muscle memory for new abilities that you want to put through their paces. This edition will also give you 72 hours of early access to the game meaning you'll be able to disapparate in on Tuesday the 7th of February three days before its official release on the 10th. Now for prices on next gen consoles it's £70 as well as €75 Euros and $75 for the deluxe edition as per the press release. And a quick note again here by the way you can up upgrade this edition from the standard if you decide to do so according to Chandler on Twitter and the same goes for refunds I personally always like to err on the side of caution when it does come to actually pre-ordering a game that may not meet expectations especially considering recent game releases and their performance over the last year but as far as I'm aware you can request a refund within 14 days of purchase or before it releases on February the 10th so do bear that in mind as well if you prefer to wait for reviews now for the digital deluxe edition you're going to be picking up everything in the deluxe version but you'll also have access to the Dark Arts Garrison hat and referencing the press release once more you do also pick up a cross-gen digital upgrade if you purchase this edition specifically meaning if you have a PS4 currently but then go on to order the digital deluxe edition and then upgrade to the PS5 in the future then this game will automatically upgrade with your console transfer.
transition. Now, as for price, you're looking at £75 as well as €80.80 .80 for this edition on next-gen consoles only. And by the way, if you have found this video informative so far, please do leave a very swift like down below. It really does help me out on YouTube. And as a thank you for doing so, I've just launched a Hogwarts Legacy Standard Edition game giveaway. You just need to be a subscriber of the channel to enter, and I'll be announcing the winner on Sunday, the 4th of September. Link, of course, is in the pinned comments with everything else, so good luck. All right then, the collector's edition, and let me drop the price first of all so you know what the deal is, because you're looking at a monster £269 or $289 for the PC and last-gen consoles, and a big boy £275 or $300 for the next-gen collector's edition with all the bells and whistles. Now that is a substantial amount of money, but what do you actually get in it? Well, everything that we've discussed in the previous editions, of course, but you'll also have an exclusive collector's only edition Kelpie robe to equipping game and a Hogwarts Legacy steelbook case with the game disc included only for the PlayStation and Xbox. PC users, unfortunately, will only get a digital code, so that's something else to bear in mind here. That said, Santa Monica Studios received a strong amount of community backlash from their recent God of War Ragnarok collector's edition steel case, not included a game disc. So I think Warner Bros have taken that on board here, but if you are a PC player and wanted a disc in your collector's edition, you're definitely missing out here and I think the price slightly reflects that. But the crown jewel in this edition is the floating ancient magic wand levitating above the book, which I think a lot of Harry Potter collectors will be going wild for. But the thing is, you do need to plug it into your mains to actually get it working. There's no batteries involved here and whether this is all worth the hefty price tag, I'm not so sure to be honest with you, but only you can decide on on that of course but this is what Avalanche are running with and I'm not sure that they're going to have any trouble sending it out if I'm being honest with myself but that said do you think this collector's edition is worth $300 I'm very keen to hear your opinion let everybody know down below in the comments now collector's edition aside we also picked up a brand new Hogwarts Legacy trailer which if you haven't seen yet I will link at the end of this video that said the crux of the trailer is to show off the inbound morality or choice system coming to the game which I'm really looking forward to in fact Chandler clarified this on Twitter by saying Saying that everything in this trailer is part of a optional questline where this is specifically a Sebastian Swallow companion questline so you don't have to undertake it if you don't want to. However if you do decide to follow him into what is believed to be one of Salazar Slytherin's hidden dungeons you'll have to engage in the dark arts but in a manner of your choosing. In fact I think Avalanche sums this whole teaser up quite nicely in their recent official press release as they went on to say that should you choose to befriend Slytherin student Sebastian Sallow you will have the personal decision of embracing or rejecting the dark arts as you uncover his family secret. And when they say embracing the dark arts, they mean using unforgivable curses on other students, as well as potentially raising Infrai, which we can also see here in the trailer, which if you didn't know, were dead bodies that had been reanimated by a dark wizard's curse. They were created through a branch of dark arts called necromancy, which was the art of raising the dead with the spells used to reanimate the corpses being very complex and difficult to conjure. Now it isn't confirmed that it's something we'll be able able to do yet but I've got a feeling it'll potentially be an option as we have most recently seen this mechanic in Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I wouldn't put it past Avalanche to include a similar ability here as a reward for completing this optional storyline. Speculation from me there but I would be very up for that mechanic in the game but that said if you do want to stay up to date with everything to do with Hogwarts Legacy make sure you do subscribe so you can find your way back here easily. We'll be picking up lots more news before the end of the year and I'm going to be whipping up lots more videos for you to enjoy soon which actually may even be on your screen right right now so hopefully see you there in just a second thanks to all the reloaders supporting me on the channel and helping me get closer to doing youtube full time and of course cheers again to you for watching butterbeer is on me